Hi, Sophie Juliano here with the Gorgeous for Good Cookery School video series. And right now, today, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite lunches. It is the Mediterranean Salad Bowl. And why I love it is that it includes all the different nutrients that I need to give me energy, to make my skin glow, and just to keep me going throughout the day. So let's get started assembling it. It really is of no cooking involved aside from the quinoa. So I've made a quinoa tabbouleh. And quinoa is a grain that I use a lot because it's so high in protein, but it's very easy to cook. It cooks in half the time of rice, just follow the directions on the package, and I always have a big bowl of it in my fridge to add to whatever I'm doing. So we're gonna start off by adding some arugula. I love arugula because of the peppery taste, and that's our green. So in every single bowl, I always like to put a really uh, good salady, leafy green. Then I'm going to add this quinoa uh, tabbouli, which really is just uh, quinoa that I've added lots of chopped fresh parsley and a little squeeze of lemon juice too. This quinoa here is the rainbow color. Uh, the tricolore color quinoa. It comes in in different colors, just plain yellow, but I love this because I think it's so pretty. I think half the thing with making these bowls is that you want it to be really attractive and really pretty, which this one definitely is. Now I'm going to add some crunchy raw vegetables. With crunchy raw vegetables, why raw is really important is when you eat raw, you get all the enzymes in the food. So every day I try to have at least one meal that contains a lot of raw vegetables in it. So I'm going to add here some chopped organic uh, bell peppers. Very important your bell peppers are organic, by the way. Same thing with cucumbers. I have some chopped cucumbers. And what I do is I make little groupings, little piles of each thing that I'm putting in rather than mixing it up because it looks so pretty that way. Now I'm going to add some marinated artichokes. Um, artichoke hearts are really packed with antioxidants, so that's a great thing to add to any salad. And of course, because it's a Mediterranean salad, it's a, it's a beautiful addition. Now I'm going to add some white beans. White beans, I try and use beans whenever I can because they're very, very high uh, protein content in them, protein and fiber, and that is wonderful if you are avoiding meat, you need that. Ah, oh, now this is an interesting one. I like to add a version of a cheese, a dairy-free cheese, in many of my dishes, and this is a tofu ricotta, um, just made with crumbled tofu and lemon juice. So you can find the recipe for that on my website, but I'm going to add a little bit of that. If you don't want to make that, you can always use a dairy-free cheese. I love this one by Daya. It's their mozzarella style shreds. It's really delicious, so you could sprinkle a little bit of that on. Just gonna add some cherry tomatoes in there. Um, some Kalamata black olives. Again, great health benefits. They're very, very good for your skin, for glowing skin. And then finally, I am going to dress it. I just have a tablespoon of very good quality extra virgin cold pressed olive oil and a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar because it's that little sort of Mediterranean kick that we want to that. Just dress that. And there is really truly one of the most satisfying salads that's so pretty, so nutritious. You've had no bread, you've had no meat, you've had no dairy, you're all gorgeously good, and you or your family would be extremely happy with that.